Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Intermountain HO Scale Aeroflow 2 coal gondolas. These are in Navajo Mine Railroad, and there's 18 different variations. As you can see through the box here, each one of these, or many of these, I should say, some of them are blank, but many of these have different names. And this is uh, mirroring what the Navajo Mine Railroad uh, coal cars have, so it's pretty cool. Uh, that each one of these has a different name, or most of them do. There's 18 different ones in a run. We've got all 18 here, but we're just going to unbox one, so let's get started next. Intermountain unboxing is some of the best around, and I'll tell you why. There's a flap. There's a blister packaging. Hard plastic, soft plastic. And the car is out. There's no paperwork to mess with. No. Trying to get it jammed in there. Getting it closed back up. And then the paperwork getting stuck at the bottom. Or one of the sides, so that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these cars. Okay, Intermountain um, has these wheel sets that are really reliable and well known in the industry as reliable. Those are obviously featured on this car. And then you've got KD couplers molded in step ladders and in detail here. The FRA striping required, I believe, since 2006 on locomotives and rolling stock so people don't run into the sides at night so that's reflective on the real thing this is just represented here by some striping along the bottom Navajo Mine Railroad is very clear along with the car number which is to the left there CAC0030 and all these are going to have different numbers and many of them have different names some of them are blanked out and don't have names load limits listed here are clear and legible as well. Well, that's not a load limit actually. It's so clear that I can read it. Oops. Infinity focus. Gone past infinity focus. It's doing it again. Built by the something corporation. You can read it better than I can, but it says one. Is it one fourteen or one? No, one seventy four or seven seventy four. So. Keep in mind this this car is about four feet away from me, even though you're zoomed in way close. So, uh, but it is clear and legible along with the writing on the edge. There's more step ladder detail, brake wheel and brake chain detail along with the platform brake platform on the end. You can see the magnetic glad hand on the KD coupler there and the spring. You can also see the spring detail on the truck, so help absorb the ch the shock as it's going down the rails there. So uh, lots of decor on this, rivet detail as well, molded in to the car. And you can see really predominantly here on the this angle here how the cars are kind of built together and stitched together with different metal panels. So that shows that. And then on the inside, last but not least, is the bracing in the Bay Area for the coal. There's two braces there, one on each side. It's got a V-shaped brace. So that's really neat. And you can also see the panels on the inside. So I'll also show you the bottom just so you can see where the two bays kind of have these long channel areas. But a pretty nice car. Uh, out of all 18 of these, 17 are already out, out, already out on the railroad on the model train layout here and no broken parts or anything flown off, not even a brake wheel, so a nice quality control on these as well. Uh 